All right, Daddy Jack's cool with the blue, so we're gonna make uh, my favorite here, some fried chicken. This is smart chicken. I don't know, they don't even say on the label where it comes from. But I'll tell you what, besides growing your own or getting a, a, farm, a farm fresh chicken, it's about as good as it gets. You know, I used to uh, buy all the cheap, cheapo chickens, you know, whatever uh, on sale, and that one time I got into a white gem, it was called. And I roasted it, everything beautiful on a Sunday afternoon in the fall. I've been into it, it tastes straight up like uh, like a bleach. And uh, see, Axel thinks he's gonna catch a little of the drippings, but you got to wait. But uh, so you know, uh, you know, it's funny. People say, uh, don't wash your chicken, salmonella. You know, I would never take a chicken. My mother. Would never get a chicken right out of the package and not wash it. You know, that's that's so ridiculous for people to say that. So, you know, we, we walk, you know, dry it off as best you can, but we I ran it, you know, some nice warm water. And uh, you know, everybody's like worried about salmonella, but I would have to sit around for a while. We're we're cooking it, we're gonna prepare this and cook it tonight. So, I mean to me you don't have to worry about. It. But always rinse the inside of the cavity for sure. But see, uh, we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut the uh, the wing off. See, I left a little bit of meat on there, and uh, I had to use my my sauce pan here because uh, I'm, I'm used to working down the restaurant. I don't have big mixing bowls, so so. Uh, but uh, see, so go down each, each side of the backbone. Okay. See, now I, that'd be good for stock, but I, <clears throat> but I love that to fry that up also. And then, uh, you got this uh, wing bone here, but, uh, but I'll throw that in there. But, um, so we cut the, uh, I like to chop. We'll leave that in there. We'll throw the, what we don't fry up, we'll, we'll put in the stock pot. So here, you see where the, the joint, where it rocks back and forth? That's where the, that's where the joint is. So that's where you cut. So I'm gonna, uh, I should have put a little wet rag underneath there, but I'm not doing a crazy amount of cutting. See? So you go right there. Okay, and I cut through here. Just rock the knife back and forth a little bit. That's a big, good sized breast. So I'm gonna cut into three pieces. Okay, so we're going to uh, make jerk fried chicken because we felt like some fried chicken. <clears throat> so I got a mix up here some curry powder and uh, blackened seasoning. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Okay. That's some nice adobo. Not the MSG loaded to adobo, but some good we picked up. Some uh, Yamani straight drop, straight drop seasoning. You can order that Yamani down in North Carolina. So we want this heavily seasoned. A little bit of ginger. Okay. Putting a little bit of nutmeg. Garlic powder.
okay? Some paprika. Okay. Uh, good salt. Some Himalayan. And then, uh, what else? Some pepper. We want it spicy. And uh, so just gonna mix it up. So I think we need a little bit more Yamani seasoning. Straight drop. So we want to season it up real good. You know, some of that jerk seasoning is kind of wet, a wet marinade. So I'm gonna put some uh some sweet baby rays hot sauce, good stuff. Not sure where I got it. Okay. And okay, whatever season you like, just kind of spice it up. And then I show you what I like to do. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. But to me, that to me get some of the pulp. Don't waste anything. Some of that chopped garlic I did a few days ago. See? Look in here. We're gonna let that marinate, as John Banner used to say. Instead of marinade, marinate. So I'm gonna let that go for about a half hour. We're gonna marinate it. Then we're gonna fry it up. Then we'll use this. I'm gonna fry it up right in this beautiful skillet. Somebody's asking what kind it was. Cuisinelle. Beautiful. I love it. My favorite. Uh, piece of kitchen apparatus there is is I got it from my niece uh, Madeline for Christmas Dad Jack's Axel good boy you're a good boy okay we'll get you a little bit of that fried chicken later Dad Jack's coming with the blues be right back righty we're here now look so so we got the flour I put I, I mean uh, some whole wheat flour a friend of mine Keith gave me fresh ground I put a little bit of uh, cornstarch Paprika, black pepper, uh, a little bit of garlic powder, because you know you got you got to uh, you have to season up your flour for sure. There's a little bit of baking soda, a baking powder, excuse me. So we're gonna mix that up real good. Pans here, so I have a little bit of uh, I save some baking grease. Okay, we want a good amount of oil. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, coconut oil, because it's kind of Caribbean. I shouldn't be doing this with my mother's uh, silver spoons, because we've already lost one. So I'll leave that on there. Uh, some butter I'm going to put on there. And that's going to tell us when it's ready. Okay. So we want to get it too hot, so. But hot enough, the old Goldilocks there. Right there. So what I like about cast iron is once you uh, get the temperature up, it's going to hold. So you're not going to, you're not going to lose a lot. I like to save the breast pieces uh, 
for last. It takes the quickest. So, um, that's a nice thigh. That's a back. I like that. I'm on that. So get it, get it well coated. Push it on real good. And leave it. Don't be messing with it. You know, just we're kind of gonna slow, kind of slow fry it. I put the meat side down on the big piece. Back. Another back. All right, so I'm just gonna slow, slow fry this, and uh, we'll be back. So, yeah, like kind of lift, lift up the pieces. Let, let you know, make sure you got plenty of grease underneath. Tilt. Make sure you got it here. Just don't, don't, don't turn it until you know you got a little bit of, you got a little bit of color going on. And uh, I love, that's what I love about these here is um, cast iron, nothing sticks like a regular, like a regular skillet. See, and to make sure that it's got plenty of grease on it underneath. Here's what we're going to do. Is we're going to start just slow cook it, you know, and then, uh, Keep rotating it around so we know we have it. Yeah, you can rotate your skillet, some pieces, you know, so keep the pieces that aren't as cooking as fast. Rotate the skillet. That's it. We're just gonna let it go. Keep turning it, checking it on regular. If you find it's getting too hot, is we'll turn regulate the temperature down a little bit. Somebody asked me, I like cooking on gas or electric. I love electric. That's how my mother we grew up with it. Uh, Gas is always good at the restaurant. You quick saute, you gotta get those pans super hot, super quick. I love, I love an electric. You tweak, tweak it how you want it. And uh, it's cooking up nice. We're just gonna slow, slow cook it here. See, now I, I, you know, I got it started with the fork, you know, just turn it over. Now once the crust is, you know, settled onto it. Now you see a spot that needs to, a little more. Let that go. That's getting nice. That's doing nice. Because you know we're not submersing it and uh, they're not submersing it in the uh, fat, so we got to make sure that we rotate it. That's it. You know, I, I, I dropped it down now to I dropped it down now to one. So just like finishing it out, slow roasting it, kind of in the pan. Just let it go. Take a little break. Go, I'm doing a crossword puzzle as this is cooking. My crossword puzzle is almost ready. And the chicken's almost ready. We'll be right back. A few more to go. Hey, this is Dag Jack's going with the blues. Jerk fried chicken. I gotta find out who told me about the jerk seasoning. He was gonna make jerk chicken tonight. But that's it. We're gonna see how it tastes. Peace.